This video provides a short overview of BrowserMob, the first and only on-demand, low-cost load testing service that uses real web browsers to playback load. Here you'll see how to record a new test script, schedule it within BrowserMob, and analyze the results of a running load test. The page you're looking at now is the BrowserMob dashboard. You see it whenever you've signed up for a free trial or whenever you log into an existing account. You can see here that there are currently no actively running tests, no upcoming tests, and no previous tests. Let's change that by scheduling one. First, we need to record a script. We do that by installing Selenium IDE, a popular open source Firefox extension. You'll be asked to confirm the installation and to restart Firefox. You'll only need to do this once. Activate Selenium IDE from the Tools menu. You're now recording, so go to the website you wish to test and interact with, like we're doing here. Selenium IDE records your interactions with the browser and supports full AJAX and dynamic web technologies. You don't have to worry about dealing with cookies, simulating browser logic, or artificially editing HTTP parameters after the fact. With BrowserMob, behavior is captured, not traffic, so what you record is what will be played back. When you're done, play it back once to ensure that it worked properly. Be careful, some scripts may pass fine now, but only because of your session state. Clearing your cookies can help. If the test is all green, that means it passed, and you can now save it to your desktop. Let's use this script to schedule a load test in BrowserMob. Click on the Create Test menu item. This form has three required sections, basic test information such as scheduling, the load test profile, and the script definitions that will drive the browsers. When filling out the start time, pay attention to the expected start. This helps you be absolutely clear when the test will run. Define your load test profile that matches your planned test scenarios. BrowserMob supports ramps and constant levels of load, ranging from a handful to thousands of real browsers, also known as virtual users. A preview of the load profile is provided to help you understand how many browsers will participate in the test as time goes on. Finally, pick the script we just recorded, give it a name, and assign it a 100% allocation. For multi-script tests, you can choose different allocation patterns that match your real-world usage. That's it! There's nothing easier when it comes to recording and scheduling load tests. 15 minutes before the scheduled start time, you'll see the test go into a staging mode. This means BrowserMob is getting ready to run the test. Once it starts, you can click on the test name to see the live results. Here you can gain access to critical functionality, such as the ability to pause all active browsers or abort the test immediately, which is handy for emergencies. Test details is where you can get access to low-level data, such as timings for images and AJAX calls seen during the test. There are also basic test statistics that provide a great snapshot of the overall test state. Below are four types of charts. A test plan, which shows the active browsers in real time. The throughput, which shows bytes received per minute. Response time, broken down by step. And frequency of errors, also broken down by step. Hovering over points in the charts shows additional information. You can compare, for example, the average transaction response time to the average response time for each step in the transaction. Clicking on a point will bring up the low-level data that that point represents. For example, at 12.24, we can see there were six failures at step 3. Let's click on it. This is the detailed query results page. It allows you to type in unrestricted SQL queries and see the results below. The data is hyperlinked, meaning we can click on a transaction ID to see the transaction details. This makes it easy to navigate to the actual screenshot of the real browser when an error occurred. While this was only a basic test, we hope that it helps you better understand both the ease of use and power that comes from using real browsers in a load test. If you have any questions at all, either about BrowserMob, Selenium, or load testing in general, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help.